Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental L Tutoring. I've had a lot of people ask me lately how to tell the difference between early, um, which could also be seen as mild, or moderate, or severe perio, okay? So you have early or mild perio, you have moderate perio, and then you have severe perio. And people are asking me, well, I see that, I know what it is, but how do I book appointments? And then how do I explain it to patients? So I will be making this very, very easy for you, okay? So I will also be talking as if you don't know, um, kind of the differences because let's just start off, you know, simple, let's start at the beginning, okay? So for early perio, think these are your patients with four millimeter pockets. They could be localized or they could be everywhere, but as soon as you see one four millimeter pocket, they have early perio, only if it's one. It doesn't matter, they have early perio, but they have localized early perio. If you see, say, those four millimeter pockets in all of the molars, they no longer have localized early perio, but that's probably more than 30% of the mouth. So they have early perio everywhere. So it's so important to explain this to your patients that, you know, A, you have early perio, you should be concerned, but early perio can become healthy again. The main thing is to start seeing us every three months so that we are able to clean things in there properly because your toothbrush is only able to reach up to three millimeters. So your toothbrush can't clean those four millimeter pockets properly, so we need to help you. So you need to be coming in every three months so your mouth becomes healthy again because if you're not cleaning it properly and you leave it alone those four millimeter pockets can become a five six seven and so on so that's what I say and it does help to show them now I'm at home so of course I don't have anything to kind of show you but normally what I do is is I take the probe this is my probe um, and I have a picture of a tooth um, so we'll just kind of use this piece of paper. Sorry. Um, I have a picture of a tooth in my, in my, um, office. So I will say, you know, with this instrument, I put in between the tooth and the gum because the gum holds the tooth together. And this is a three millimeter pocket, which is healthy. This is four, this is five. So you see how the higher the number, my, my, um, instrument's able to sneak in there more. And that's not healthy because the more the instrument's able to go in there, your gum isn't as close to the tooth as it should be. So that's a lot of plaque, that's a lot of tartar, and that's a lot of um, harmful bacteria. And they go, oh wow, well actually showing me that helps me understand. They need to be shown, but always, always, um, let them know that if they come in to see you, if they start to brush twice a day and floss every day to help to get those harder to reach areas, that will help them so much. And then they will no longer have those four millimeter pockets. But if they say, well, I'll just kind of see how it goes, those four millimeter pockets will become a five or higher. And that brings me to my next point. Moderate perio is five or six millimeters, depending on the textbook. So I consider moderate perio a five, but some textbooks consider um, moderate perio starting at a six. So look at the textbook you have, or just ask the office where you work what they consider to be moderate perio. Because as soon as your patient has moderate perio, they could be starting to lose the bone support around the teeth. And I always, always say that to my patients. I say, right now you have early perio of a four millimeter pocket, but as soon as it is one more millimeter, a five millimeter pocket, you could start to lose the bone support around the teeth. And that's what happens. And then the teeth become loose and we can't bring the bone back. 
Obviously, at a five millimeter pocket, the teeth aren't going to become loose, but I let them know it could happen because as soon as they have a five millimeter pocket, it's a lot easier to get a six, seven, eight, and so on because it's harder to clean. Okay, so I try to hit home with those numbers. Um, and then I show them once again, this is healthy. This is a four millimeter pocket. That's early perio. This is a five millimeter pocket. So it's all the way down here. You could start to lose the bone support around the teeth. And then obviously severe perio, depending on the textbook you read is six millimeters or seven millimeters and higher. So that means that things just aren't in good shape. There's a lot of plaque, there's a lot of tartar, there's a lot of bacteria, and they need to be seen by a gum specialist. Actually, starting at moderate perio, they should be seen at a gum specialist. But in my opinion, my opinion, I'm able to clean a five millimeter pocket okay. You know, but it can't hurt though, right? To see a gum specialist because that's what they do all day, every day. They help to clean those harder to reach areas and you don't want those pockets to get worse. So also what I say to my patients is, um, once you have moderate perio, you need to be seen by a gum specialist, but you probably um, don't want to go see them you know, every three months and then see us three months later and then see them three months later and then see us three months later. You know, like I, I try to make it sound all, um, almost inconvenient for them. So then that way they try harder at home so they don't have to see the gum specialist. But if they're at that point where they need to be seeing the gum specialist, then I say to them, you have moderate perio, you need to see a gum specialist because if you don't, that perio will get worse. It will get worse if you're not brushing twice a day, flossing once a day, and seeing us every three months. You don't want it to get worse because as soon as it starts to get worse, it's a lot harder to take care of and you don't want to lose your teeth, plain and simple. You don't want the teeth to be sore. Um, uh, the gum around it, you don't want it to be sore. It could happen with early, moderate, and of course, severe perio. So does that make sense? So just try to hit home with the patients, show them, you know, show them what perio is. Always, always talk about it. Even if they've been coming for 30 years, always say, okay, so I took the measurements today. You still have those uh, four millimeter pockets, but some of those four millimeter pockets are now three millimeters. So excellent. Keep up the good work, but you still have some of those four millimeter pockets. So until things are healthier, still keep on coming to see us every three months because it is helping. Or you know what, say, okay, we took the gum pockets today. You have five millimeter pockets where last time your highest pocket was a four. So clearly something isn't working. Make sure they're coming every three months, but also let them know they need to brush and floss at home. Because even if they're coming every three months and they don't brush, well, people use, they usually brush, but it's the flossing that's hard for them. If they don't floss, their gums are not going to get healthy, plain and simple. I mean, they could technically, right? But we don't tell them that because we want them to be doing the work at home too because it's easier for you when you're cleaning their teeth if it's a lot you know, healthier in there. Um, and it helps to put the onus on them too that they need to be working hard. So I hope that makes sense. So early, moderate, and severe perio. Any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm actually teaching a class with my students this Sunday um, about all about perio, early, moderate, and severe. So then that way they completely understand and there's no confusion because I find when new students are fresh out of school, there is some confusion because it's one thing to read in the textbook, but it's another thing to say like, okay, I just saw a patient with one four millimeter pocket. What do I do? Yes, they have early perio, but do they need to come in every three months? Or they may say, okay, well, this patient has had four millimeter pockets, but now they have one 
five millimeter pocket, what do I do? You know, so it does help to talk about everything and talk about it in the real world also. So I hope this helped. Please let me know if there's any questions and see you guys um, very, very soon. Bye.